with me being at the end of my lengthy platinum journey with the crew. Looking back a bit, when I got my first next gen console, I mean, I had a PS3 and everything, but when I truly hopped into the next gen with the PS4, I bought this game when it first came out. And <laughs> when I was that young, I didn't know really have access to good internet, so I couldn't really play a game like this, so I took it back to the store and never gave it a second thought. And then when we got better internet a year or two later, guess what I went back and bought? This game. And I absolutely fell in love. Played a lot of Need for Speeds growing up. Always been really into cars to some extent. And, I mean, it was fun, man. There's no other way around that. It was just incredibly fun. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of dark periods in my life. No stranger to those. But games like this have always really helped me through it. 2023 was a really difficult year for me. By the end of it, it sort of felt like nothing went right. But we're in a new year, things are different. I don't know if things are different now, but I at least keep it busy in games like this. I'm not doing other things, I can just sit down and play something like this. So when I got word that Ubisoft was permanently removing the crew, delisting it, and taking down the servers not even 10 years after its debut, I realized just how little time I had left to enjoy this game that was here for me when I needed it most a long time ago. Loved the crew too. Played it with my friend. Loved Motorfest. I've played it with my friend and on my own a lot. But the original crew, I'm not going to be an elitist here, but the original crew just had a really unique atmosphere. It felt cozy. I love the crew too, and I love Motorfest, but I mean, I have my issues with this game, but hey, it's the only game that actually attempted a story in the franchise. I mean, it wasn't good by any stretch, but hey, you could tell there was passion put into it. And yeah, I still think there was passion put into it in Motorfest, but this was a different era, man. 2014 was a lot longer ago than most people really think. And it's sad that people won't get to play this anymore. The game is far from perfect, but it meant a lot to me, and seeing it go like this is rather disheartening. So. When I heard about it, I took one look at the trophy list. It's when I, I went back and played it recently, actually, in 2022. I've been back a few times to play it, but I've, I've, I've never finished it and everything, but I've never actually platinumed it. But as I saw the trophy list and thought, wow, this is insane. How could anyone possibly do this? And it has a, what was it, a 0 0.86 on PSN profiles, a 0 0.89. By the time I put this up, maybe? While the crew 2 had like a 20% and Motorfest had about the same. Pretty lopsided, right? I thought to myself, there's no way. There's no way I could possibly do this. But earlier this month I decided, fuck it. The last few months have been incredibly hard for me. And some deaths around me. Split with my partner, been taking care of a lot of people, and I'm tired. When I'm tired, I come to games like this. And yeah, I know there's many options out there for me that I could absolutely go go to in times of need, but this game, similar to Elder Scrolls Online, really was there for me when I needed it. There were times where I felt like nothing mattered, and I just hopped on here and I drove from coast to coast. I'm gonna do the same with the crew too, obviously, but it just felt different now. Cozy. And I like that. I 
really like that. I don't know what 2024 will bring me. I'm not exactly at my best right now, but accomplishing this is a small victory for me. It's the rarest trophy I've ever gone for, ever, out of the thousands I've done. And it's one of my biggest accomplishments. It was exhausting, it was tedious, it was tiresome. And I probably won't remember it fondly to some degree, but it was worth it. After all, the game helped me with the least I could do was finish the damn thing completely. And I'm excited to say goodbye to it. Even if it's sad to see it go, I'm excited. I don't know what my future holds. No one really knows what their future holds, I guess. It's not really ever set in stone, no matter how much you want to believe it is. Me, I'm just tired. I think I'd just like to let life take me for a ride instead of me pushing forward, you know? So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to enjoy what life has to offer. Take a back seat. Let other people make an effort for a change. I'm tired. I'm really tired. I hope that I've proven that I can be better for myself to those that still look at me and expect something good. I want to be that way for them. Both for myself and for them, you know? I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared. I don't know what's gonna happen so much changing in my life right now, you know? But... There's not really much I can do about that right now. And... Perhaps that's okay. Maybe... Things aren't so terrible. Maybe things can be better. But... I'm gonna put up my hat. I'm gonna try my best to be myself help myself to be better, to be happier, to be everything I possibly can be. Because although I'm saying goodbye to another franchise, or another game I should say, that has really been there for me, I'm in a new era. That, that makes me happy.